You have a spring break shenanigan you'd like to tell us about? Yeah, I was going to sit back, but uh, people were being dicks tonight, so I thought I'd, I'd bring up the rear and give you one. Uh, bring up the rear. Yeah, I'm bringing up the rear. Uh, so senior year in high school, right? I've been going to Palm Springs with my family for years, and I've been seeing the shenanigans, right? Right. And it's my first time I'm actually going to go as an adult with my friend and be there without, like, mom and dad telling me what to do. I was stoked. I was excited. I was going to go get hammered and hopefully hook up with some ladies, right? That's the plan. So my friend Crazy and I... Crazy amount of, like, anticipation, right? right? And they build up. Like, just... And we're idiots, and we're yeah. in high school. We don't even have a place to stay. We're going to find one. And then... So it's my, my best friend and I, at the time, we're going to drive out there. And, uh, you know, other people in school are hearing that we're going to go out there. And there's one crazy guy, probably bipolar, probably dead now, maybe in jail. Probably he dead finds now. out about it, and he starts working us like two weeks before. He's like, hey, I want to go with you guys, and here's why I'm going to go with you guys. I met a girl. I'm actually banging her. She lives in Palm Springs. She has a sick house. She lives with her grandma, who's, like, never there, right on the strip, and she like and she lives with like three or four other hot chicks. So all things considered, this is not the guy you'd like to hang out with. No, but, no, no. But what he brings to the table sounds so alluring. Right. And I don't really believe him, but he keeps coming at us. He's coming yeah. at us hard. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, you know what? Let's you know, we're poor. Otherwise, we're going to sleep. God knows where. Anyways, let's give it a shot. So he hops in the car. You know, flash forward. We're, we're driving down there. He's in the back seat. We're speeding towards Palm Springs. We couldn't. We're, we're all high on E. We just can't be happier that yeah. it's finally here, right? And is this this is sweet threesome, Anderson? Yeah, right? yeah. Like, this like, is like long court, flowing Cobain, blonde hair, no shirt, yeah, driving my yeah, Volkswagen yeah. Fox with stickers all over on the awesome. inside. Yeah, beautiful. So uh, we get to the turnoff for Palm Springs, right? Like the one eleven. We're past the dinosaurs. The one eleven's right there. And uh, he's like, "Yeah, keep going." I'm like, well, "What do you mean?" He's like, yeah, it's a few exits up. It's, it's close. So. so we keep driving, and we keep driving. And he's like, no, no, keep going. So you're we passing get to, Indio. We like, get to Indio. Okay. We get to Indio. He's like, pull off here. Uh -oh. I had never been to Indio before. Now, Indio was like past Coachella, I think. It's Indio far is out where there. Coachella is, but when Coachella is not going on it's in far. Indio, it's unbelievable. You are at the end of the earth. It's it's hell on earth. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like Palmdale. <laughs> Nothing against Palmdale. But so we pull up to this ramshackle of a house. I don't even know what they could call it a house. Like, it looks like Shit. people just took, like, boards and put them up. Uh, we have our, It's dark now. We've been driving that long. It's dark. Uh, he shows us where our room is. He goes, there is a girl that lives there. He's banging her. We can hear them having anal sex. It's, like, really dirty, horrible sex. How do you sex. know it was anal? She kept... Because she's like, yeah, put it in my ass. And I'm oh, like, what the sweet. hell am I? So my friend and I, we're just trying we're, we're, quivering a chicken walks in there's a chicken in the room with us now right there's a chicken wandering in the Did room you eat it? and uh, i'm like is there really a chicken in the room here right now with us and then a dude with a mohawk stumbles in lays in my bed gets up and starts puking all over the dirt floor they must have had meth it was there. her brother it was they her must brother. have had meth there so we're like dude let's, let's just get out of here wait wait, wait, wait let's time get out of here time out time out uh -huh. how did you have any more ecstasy no, I was doing meth. So at this you point. were rolling off of e. Yeah, and you're and like drinking. We were drinking like booze. Oh, your life was so bad. It was so terrible. So this guy, the the the, the last straw, the the straw that broke the uh, the, the camel's Proverbial back. Camel's back, camel's, yes. camel's back was this. The dude had a mohawk, Mike, yeah. and I could see like the silhouette of the chicken with the mohawk and him, and it was like a sight so that I'll not, never get out of my head. The and silhouette not, of the two and mohawks. not like affliction mohawk, right? Like not like no, like actual like mohawk. a legitimate like like it would have hurt me if you fell in right, it. Yeah. right, right, gutter punk mohawk. And okay. when he got up, he started puking. That's when we're like we, we're going. So we left. <laughs> we went back into town. We found a sweet motel six. Uh, I hooked up with a girl who I like, later found out when I saw her in the daytime that she like, had cross eyes. Which is kind of bad. He hooked me. up with a girl who uh, had just had open heart surgery, but it was spring break, so we, we did okay. Wait, okay. She had stitches of her chest. When the cross eyed girl's blowing you, does it look like she's staring I at your dick? I couldn't see because it was in the dark, and no. then in the morning, we're like, oh no. But here's the, here's the, here's the best part. Wait, how is the, the, best, part the best part still coming? So we, we go home. <laughs> Chicken. Sunday night, we yeah. go home. Monday morning, we go to school, uh, and everyone's like, hey, where's Jason? We're like, we, we left him there. Yeah. <laughs> we Good. left the dude in Indio. He had to take a bus back, and I guess like he he got the prison bus back. But, but screw him, yeah. Because he he lured you in with to his meth shanty. But back in like mid nineties, you don't leave someone like in the middle of the desert. You know what I mean? It was a different time. We didn't have Uber back then. The no, dude was left in and, India, and especially India. That's not like a that's not like a city where you could just go to a train station or something. Yeah, like he was screwed. Yeah, he was very pissed, and like half the school hated us, and half the school thought we were hilarious for leaving him there. It worked. It was mm -hmm. good. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Anderson Cowan rarely gets on the mic, but he delivered right there.